I'm going to give you a, a demonstration of an application I made using Row Mobile Suite uh, version 4.0. This is an application I made um, when I was coaching my son's uh, flag football team. Um, I wanted an app to be able to uh, run on my iPad while I was on the field and uh, to be able to create plays and show the kids and also to, to, show, um, to share with my coaches that were helping me. So let me launch it. Uh, so this is, uh, and I'll show you the libraries that I'm, that I'm using, but this was built using Roam Mobile and a few JavaScript libraries. Uh, so this lets me come in here and, and, and create a whole bunch of uh, different plays, whether it's a running play or a passing play or by formation. And um, when I'm on the field, I can bring up the play and show the kids. And then if we need to you know, change things around, it, it actually has some nice dragging and uh, being able to draw lines uh, and things like that. If I need to change the formation, um, you know, we can do that quite quite easily. So this is kind of a nice uh, a nice application that uh, uses a, an iPad. I didn't uh, make it for other tablets. Pretty much made it for for an iPad. Um, and it's uh, the core of it is using this library here, which is basically an HTML5 canvas object. So on the device that allows you to touch and move things around and do some nice drawing on it. Um, the library that I'm using is from uh, Kinetic.js. So this application is heavily using Kinetic.js, which allows me to use this canvas object. And then uh, when it actually saves the, saves the play, it goes ahead and and converts that canvas to a to an image. So this is an image. So I'm actually saving all these images in the uh, ROM database uh, as a data URI string. So I have about uh, you know 26 plays here or whatever. Um, and this is using ROM to to quickly filter uh, you know, filter the plays here. Okay, and then I have a couple different models. So here's my formations, and I can do it by offense or defense, special teams, practice mode, and then I have players as well. So here's my son, Drew, and I can go in here and, and rank him and kind of keep track of notes of uh, the kids that are on the team. And then when I'm actually in uh, on the field playing, I can... Uh, go ahead and select a particular formation and it, and it changes very quickly. And then I could um, say, okay, I'm going to assign Drew to be the quarterback, um, Price to be wide receiver, and then, um, you know, come in here and, and uh, say if the play worked or not. So it's, it's kind of nice. Uh, and then and hide the different layers. Uh, so all of these are done using this Canvas Kinetic JS application, and then I can also my I have another model which allows me to to um, basically decide on a sequence of plays that I'm going to uh, to use in 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 coaching. So um, it's a nice little application. Uh, again, the, and here you go. It's actually showing the pictures of the kids when I bring it up on the screen here. Um, and it's overlaying it. So this is all driven through this Kinetic JS um, library. Um, and again, I'm using ORM, uh, Row Mobile's ORM, to save the objects. So if we take a little peek at the application, this is a Row Mobile application. I have my views for the different formations, the different players, and then um, I'm actually using the ORM APIs to uh, define the models and go ahead and save them. Uh, and my layout.irb, I'm using Kinetic.js as my uh, core um, JavaScript library for all the drawing, and then I'm using Bootstrap and jQuery for some of the layout. Um, this Pixastic library as well, uh, I'm using, and that's uh, converting images, the images and resizing them. So a couple of nice libraries you can use along with Row Mobile, um, and, and gets a pretty nice uh, looking application. Uh, the other piece of this that, uh, that I did was, so when I was on the field and I wanted to share my plays that I developed with the, with the coaches, um, I wanted to share it with them. So I'd use Row Connect and upload all my new plays, and then on their device, they would click download, basically, and all, all of our plays would be synchronized. So whether they were looking at it from a, a phone or whatever device they had, 
um, they can come in here and we can all be looking at the same the same formations. So I hope you found this uh, little demonstration useful and uh, and go out go out and check out Row Mobile and uh, check out this library Kinetic JS. Uh, a more real realistic use case might be to use this library like I am for drawing uh, these objects on the screen, uh, but maybe use it as a way where you can take a picture of something and you want to mark up a picture. Maybe you want to annotate and circle. Maybe you're an inspector and you want to circle things on the picture and, and denote that something's wrong with the product display setup. Um, this is a nice library that you can use, and this was done uh, pretty easily uh, using that Kinetic JS application uh, to do some simple drawing. Um, so uh, this is uh, you know kind of a nice a nice little tool that you can use to uh, to change um, the look of a picture and to actually do some annotation on it using a, a tablet or or what have you. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation.